This may have been a good design practice back in the 1980s when I was still a child and when digital signal edge rates were slower and analog signals ran at lower frequencies, but today it just doesn't fly. The reason it doesn't work today is because those analog and digital ground sections turn into nice big radiating dipole antennas. That dipole antenna you form from the analog and digital ground sections can then radiate into free space and that causes you to fail a radiated emissions test. You should only be splitting grounds up into two different disconnected sections when you have specific applications like a requirement for galvanic isolations, as well as some very specific applications in precision signal measurement with low signal to noise ratio. And even in these applications, you typically still need to link those two ground sections back together, most often with a Y-type capacitor or another class of safety capacitor. I can't tell you how many designs I've seen where somebody will use a ferrite bead to reconnect the analog and digital sections of a PCB, and that's only going to make your emissions problem even worse.